So now in this video we're going to take a quick look at an integrated circuit I'm working on making a longer video about the uh, 4013. So now we're going to look, it is a uh, D-type uh, flip-flop with also a set and reset pins. But uh, we took the set and reset pins and we put it to the negative uh, supply that uh, keeps them low. They're waiting for a high input. As long as we keep them zero volts, they won't do anything. So in any case, right now we have the output low and our data pin is low. So d D type uh, flip flop, D stands for data. So it's low, uh, the output's low. It doesn't matter if we change it though, as of now, as you can see right there. What matters is what it is when we press this button here. So this goes to the clock pin right there. And I debounced the switch. I showed a video why uh, a couple videos ago. So now we got a high data pin, and I press the switch right there to give a high pulse to the clock pin and we got a high output there right now a red LED so if I leave this floating now it's picking up stray signals in the air it's going high and low but uh, the output won't change until I hit the button and if it's high when I press the button then the red LED is gonna either light up or stay light up and if it's low when I press the button the blue LED is gonna light up or stay uh, lit up because this is the output that uh, is like the uh, its Q, it's like uh, the data pin right there when we give a high clock signal. So now I have the capacitor here, as I said before, I did a video a couple of videos ago for uh, debouncing, and you're gonna see still when I give a high uh, input to the uh, clock, the LED still changes, but there you can see it double bounced right there, even though I pressed the switch uh, once. When I released it, it gave a low high signal at least once again. Maybe it did it so rapidly multiple times that we couldn't see the LED change. With that capacitor, a uh, high input instantly charges the capacitor. It takes a little bit of time to discharge, so a really rapid low high won't matter. It stays high, and uh, we just have to wait a fraction of a second for the most part for it to go low again. And here is the uh, kit that I got the integrated circuit out of, the 4013, it's a CD4013B, uh, maybe BE, I can't remember, on uh, the actual component right there. But in uh, any case, you have to uh, power it, and as I mentioned, set and reset were directly to ground. They're waiting for a high input, and we didn't want them to do anything in this circuit. Data pin right between them, that was the little jumper that uh, I either put in the positive supply or the negative or I left it floating where it just got stray signals in the air it kept bouncing high and low about uh, 60 times a second so the clock pin that had the jumper going across to the switch which I debounced with a uh, capacitor right there and uh, we didn't use uh, the inverted Q output there we just left that floating nothing connected to it that's okay and uh, as I mentioned before though inputs we're not using we don't want to leave floating. We want to connect it directly to a supply voltage. And then Q1 there. So I had a red LED and a blue LED to a Q1, one of their pins. And uh, the other pin of those two did not go to the same row. They went to separate rows where they had their own resistor. And uh, the blue LED, the cathode, was to the output. Anode was to the resistor positive supply so that it would light up when the output is low, basically connected to ground. And uh, the red LED I had the anode to Q and then cathode to a 1000 ohm resistor that went to the negative supply so that it lit up when the output was high. That's how that works. I've done that in many videos so I'm not going to uh, show that or explain that in great detail in this one. So in any case uh, this is just a quick preview for a video that's going to take me a while to make and uh, for people that like shorter videos I figure I would just make these previews and uh, hopefully you like them and uh, hopefully it doesn't bother other people that I'm uploading these previews. So thanks for watching. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video. 